everyone. I am so excited to do this video today because I feel like it's one that has been requested since I started doing my very first video. It has been on my request sheet and I'm not sure why I haven't done it. To be honest, I have no idea why I haven't done it yet. And it started off, I was getting a lot of requests for what's in my travel makeup bag and I decided to take it one step further and show you guys what's in my travel beauty bag. And when I show you kind of like my setup, you'll understand why I'm showing you the entire beauty bag instead of just what's in my makeup bag. But I have started traveling a lot. I'm actually traveling very soon. So I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and pack my stuff and then I can film a video and show them. And I feel like I've wanted to do this video for so long, but this is what's in my travel beauty bag. I also have a travel toiletry bag. So what's in my beauty bag is basically anything I need for hair and makeup. What's in my toiletry bag is anything I need for washing my face, my toothbrush, anything for the shower, anything like that. So I decided that I would go ahead and show you guys what's in my beauty bag and if you guys like this video I'll do a what's in my toiletry bag if you're interested in that and this is for if I am traveling for at least a couple days. If I'm just going to stay overnight at a friend's house or something I will literally throw some things in my purse and run out the door. I'm not someone who takes this stuff with me everywhere I go. But if I am going, you know, like when I went to fashion week, things like that, this is what I take with me. And I'll go ahead and kind of tell you the setup of like my suitcase. I have a big like folding um, rolling suitcase. So it folds out and it has places to put things on each side. And then, you know, you fold it up, you zip it and you roll it behind you. So I fold it out and on one side, I keep a lot of like my beauty and hair products and stuff like that. And I also keep like my pajamas and things like that on that side. And on the other side, I keep all of my clothes and my shoes and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in my travel beauty bag and I want to let you know that watching what's in my bag videos I've done a what's in my purse video I've done a couple what's in my purse videos I've done a couple what's in my school bag videos watching other people's is probably one of my favorite videos here to watch on YouTube I love watching room tours hauls and what's in my bag videos so I would love if you guys would show me I also like seeing like how people travel I would love it if you would show me what's in your travel beauty bag and uh, leave it as a video response below so I hope a lot of you are interested in that so so this is my beauty bag and I go ahead and I put everything in a tote and then I lay it down inside of my rolling suitcase and I find that when I have everything kind of together it helps me stay organized throughout the trip and I can take this out and whenever I'm getting ready in the morning I can pull all my stuff out of it and then I can put it back in set it either against the wall or in the closet of the hotel room or something like that this is actually by the way a Rebecca Bonbon bon bag which is so cute it has sequins all over it and then it has the little French Bulldog uh, Rebecca Bonbon bon logo on it I was actually given this by Sears because I did the Sears crush your style campaign with my sister and Diamond Downs and Kylie Jenner and when we were there they gave us some Rebecca Bonbon bon items and I was kind of new to Rebecca Bonbon bon. I wasn't exactly sure you know what it was and stuff it's actually a character that was created by the person who created Hello Kitty so that alone is like amazing but they like to give little stories to all their characters so Rebecca Bonbon's story is that she's a little French bulldog that was born in France that adopted by an American and then moved to New York City and she now lives in an apartment overlooking Central Park and um, she loves the finer things in life which are travel, shopping, and bonbons. So I think her story is so cute. They gave me this bag a while ago. I feel like it was back in summertime but I remember I looked it up and if you wanted to buy it I feel like it was like $10 so their stuff is not expensive at all. You can get it at Sears or at Kmart and I've been using this every time I travel since and I also have a light pink one which is what I put my toiletry ones in so I just wanted to let you guys know it's also really cute if you want to do um, like it as a school bag or anything like that I think it's absolutely adorable and I love little miss Rebecca Bonbon I think she's so cute mark my words this is a new trend that's starting Rebecca Bonbon will be the new Hello Kitty and I have to tell you I've seen a couple people walking around either wearing like Rebecca Bonbon sweatshirts there are even pictures of like Ashley Tisdale and Kim Kardashian and stuff wearing it but I've seen a couple people you know in like person walking around and I always think to myself and I'm like they're little trendsetters because they know that Rebecca Bonbon is big before she's actually big so Rebecca Bonbon is going to blow up and I'm excited that I already carry um, all my beauty stuff in her bag but let's go ahead and get into what is in the Rebecca Bonbon bag so the first thing I have is this little Ziploc baggie I like to carry my makeup brushes in a Ziploc bag and so these are all my makeup brushes that I use on either a daily basis or that I might need I have a couple like I think I have two um, flat shader brushes in here just in case they get really dirty it kind of depends on how long I'm gonna be gone for what brushes I take but these are pretty much my basic brushes and then I also keep scissors because when you are traveling you always want to make sure that you have scissors with you because you never know if you're gonna have to snip a tag if you know you're gonna have a string hanging loose off anything like you always if you're in a hotel room you're like I wonder you know if you have scissors so 
I have scissors in here also. I have an eyelash curler. I have tweezers and I have an eyelash comb. So these are basically like all my tools and I just keep them in a Ziploc bag. It's something that, you know, makeup brushes get dirty and then whatever you put them in gets dirty. So that's something that after I've used it and it gets really icky and dirty and stuff, I can just toss it, put it in a clean Ziploc bag. And then I have my makeup bag. So this is not new to any of you. This is my Waffle Weave Makeup Bag from Glitzy Glam, which is actually my sister and mine's online web store, and it's super cute. I have my name in it, and so I actually picked black and light pink because I keep all my everyday makeup in here, and I set it on my vanity, and then I like that it kind of like matches my room. So you can pick the colors that match your room, your bedroom, you can put your name on it and nickname. I actually made one that says OMG Double HKP, which I thought was super cute, but it doesn't match this room, so that one is, um, it's not here with me. But this is the one that I keep with me here, and again, I keep my things in little, I'll show you guys the inside. It's super dirty inside, but this is actually a cleanable fabric. Cleanable, is that a word? I'm not really sure, but it is a cleanable fabric. You can clean this fabric. Um, but again, I keep my things in little Ziploc baggies for the same reason, because they do get dirty. And the first thing, I have my little Ziploc baggie of all of my face makeup. So this is everything from face primer, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush. Um, I have an under eye brightener. Like I have little things like that. I have the Benefit tin that has the bronzer and the highlighter in it for contouring. And so I keep all of that. I find that putting things in individual bags actually makes getting ready a lot faster and a lot easier because I'm not going through this entire bag to try to find what I'm looking for. I'm just going through this and I know that all my face things will be in here. And then I zip the bag back up, I set it aside and I get all my eye stuff out. So then of course, Without further ado, I have my eye stuff, and this is in a bigger bag because depending on how long I'm gonna be gone for and where I'm going, I will take multiple eyeshadows and multiple things to create a different you know, effect eye. But this, I just have my everyday eye products that I use every day no matter what. And um, that's what I keep in here on an everyday basis. And then I have my lip stuff. So I don't carry a lot of lip stuff with me. I have my lip balm right there. And then I have two different, um, Lipsticks. This is the Viva Glam Gaga uh, Hot Pink Lipstick that I wear a lot. And then this is Captive by MAC in case I want to do a darker berry look like I'm wearing today. And then I have my two Stila lip glosses. One's a lighter one and one's a more berry one. That way I have a lot of different lip options that I can do. I can just go for a very sheer berry color with a gloss. I can do, you know, my pink. I can do lots of different things with just a few products. So that is all I keep in this makeup bag. And so I stick everything in there, zip it up, and I keep this on my vanity for you know my everyday stuff because I do have a pretty large makeup collection and I have things in all pull out drawers but what I use every day without fail I keep in there and then if I need something else I'll go pull it out of the drawer but then the next thing that I pretty much always take with me and my curling iron just fell out of my bag the next thing I pretty much always take with me is my um, BH Cosmetics 88 color shim uh, no 88 colors palette cool shimmer that's what it's called and it looks like that it has 88 different color eyeshadows I find when I have this with me I don't need to take other eyeshadows, which is why this bag looks pretty sparse. This actually will fit in the Waffle Weave makeup bag, so technically if I wanted to put it in this bag and then put all of it in the Waffle Weave bag, I could, but then you have to stand it up right in the middle, and I find it's just easier to toss it in here, so that is what I do, and I think that's all I have for my makeup products, and now I will go into hair. So the first thing I take is a flat iron. Again, this is something that it depends on how long I'm going for, where I'm going for it. If I want to take a flat iron and a curling iron, or if I just want to take one or the other, but this is the flat iron that I would take with me if I was going for long enough that I know that I might want to flat iron my hair one day, curl my hair the next day. I'm pretty indecisive, so I find that if I take it with me, it makes it a lot easier than just having one option. So this is my Hot Pink TI Creatives um, flat iron that I actually did a video on not long ago, and it came with this little case right here that is a heat protective case, so you can stick it in here even if it's hot and it's not gonna like melt any of your stuff because I'm someone who I will flat iron my hair right before I run out the door and then I'm like wait but what do I do with my flat iron you know because it's still hot and then I take a curling iron this is a one inch Conair curling iron and I want to go ahead and let you guys know that storing your curling irons or your flat irons with the cords wrapped around it is not the best thing to do but I've been doing it for years and years and years now probably like four or five years I have been storing it this way I've never had one break for it just
just make sure if you are going to wrap the cord around it that you don't wrap this too tightly. Do you know what I mean? Like if I pulled that like that, that could hurt it. But if you just leave it very loose like this, it should be okay. But um, if you have a different way to store your curling irons, let me know because I'm always looking for one. And then I make sure I take a heat protectant, something that I don't take that a lot of people are always like, oh wow, I, you know, I thought you would. I don't take a blow dryer with me. I am not someone who is crazy about a certain blow dryer. I do have my blow dryer that I use every day and I love. But if I'm going to use a hotel blow dryer, Elle always takes a blow dryer and I pretty much always travel with her. It takes up a lot of space and it's not necessary. So I don't always take a blow dryer with me and um, actually I hardly ever do. But I do take a heat protectant spray. I just currently started using this one and it is the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray Thermal Creations. Looks like this. I told you guys in my haul video that I actually hauled that product that I would let you know what I think of it. And it's a very good dupe for the Chi 44 Iron Guard and it's way less expensive. So I definitely recommend if you can get your hands on one of these, which is probably easier to get your hands on than Chi products anyways. Um, I found mine at Ulta. I think that that would be a very good dupe and you could save a lot of money. And then for hairspray, I have L'Oreal L Net and I'm actually almost out of this. So I need to get a new one of that. But that is the hairspray that I use every day pretty much. And then I take a hairbrush with me. Now this is actually the bedazzled one that came free with my flat iron off of beautychoice.com. And it looks like this and it's just, you know, your standard paddle hairbrush. Uh, but I think it's super cute. And then I take this, which is a teasing comb, and it actually it has board bristles and regular bristles. I curled my hair today with the one inch curling iron, and then I brushed my hair out just one time, you know, going down like this with this, and that's how I got these really like big soft waves instead of such structured spirals. So I love that, and it's also really good for teasing. And then I have this little pocket in here that I keep hair bows and bobby pins. I just bought, you know, these big packages of it and I just take them with me. So hair bows, bobby pins. I have a wide tooth comb because when I get out of the shower, I brush my hair out with a wide tooth comb because it doesn't break your hair as much as if I would have used my brush. And then I have a rat tail comb. And then I have a clip for sectioning my hair off for either blow drying it or curling it or something like that. And then the last thing I have is actually something that, again, I know this is very repetitive, but depending on where I'm going and how long I'm going for, I'll take this. So this is a nail polish. This is the one I'm wearing right now. It's called Here Today, Argon Tomorrow. It's by OPI, and it's a very deep green that almost looks black, but I'm absolutely in love with it. So I really like taking whatever nail polish I'm wearing in case my nails start to chip or anything and you just need to do a quick touch-up. Now, if I'm going to be gone for quite a while, I might even take a base coat and a top coat with me and either take the color I'm wearing if I really like that one or take a complete different color. But one thing I will never take with me is nail polish remover because I have taken it way too many times and for some reason those bottles the caps, like I guess with the pressure of the suitcase or something, they always tend to pop off. And then I find that my entire suitcase and clothes smells like rubbing alcohol and nail polish remover and I just don't like it. So I find that if I need it, I will just purchase it there. You can buy, you know, little bottles for like 99 cents at any drugstore and anywhere you go, there will be a drugstore close to you. So that is what I take in my travel beauty bag. Make sure you comment below and let me know if you want to see what I keep in my travel toiletry bag. I will totally do that video if you guys are interested in it. And I hope to see a lot of you leaving video responses and what you keep in your travel beauty bag because I love to see you know either space saving tips or anything like that that you guys have to share with me I would love to watch your videos and also if you guys have any Rebecca Bonbon bon products or the sweatshirt or a bag or anything like that I would love for you to twit pick me a picture I read every single one of my Twitter at replies whereas reading all of my comments and all of my emails I try my hardest but I don't always get through all of them I read all of my at replies I would love for you guys to twit pick me a picture of what you guys have because I am kind of obsessed with Rebecca Bonbon bon now and and I would love to see, you know, if you guys are being little fashion trendsetters and have any of the pieces as well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And then I take a curling iron.